write your letter Guess this is better You win sometimes, lose sometimes No need to apologize It was the distance we had between us It broke us down in disguise No need to apologize That I miss you now And I need to reminisce this Cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at our moments And they keep coming back to me Hey friends, I have so much jam-packed in today's video and I hope it gives you all of the cleaning motivation or decluttering and organizing motivation that you need. I hope you will watch this video and clean along with me. Let me know if we're cleaning together or I hope that you'll sit, watch me do all of the work, create your to-do list, and then get ready and tackle it as soon as this video is over. This video will get you up and get you moving and we are gonna get this done together. Not a line and it's alright Feeling like a, a, uh, a uh. Feeling like a, a, uh, a uh. Just as cool as Sean Wayne in his movies Feeling like I'm James Dean and I know it Feeling like a, a, uh, a uh. Feeling like a, feeling like a rock star Feeling like a rock star Feeling like a rock star so I started out my day of cleaning by picking things up from the kitchen and the living room and I have a lot on my to-do list today. I was going to clean up the kitchen and the living room and then I was going to be decluttering and organizing my refrigerator, my pantry, and the two upstairs bathrooms. I'm going to be literally pulling everything out of the two bathroom linen closets and then all of the drawers and cabinets in the bathroom deep cleaning them and then reorganizing so i have a lot that i'm going to be doing today a lot planned but we are going to get this done and i also have one of my all-time favorite cleaning hacks i'm going to show you it will help you get your refrigerator sparkling clean i love it and you're going to see it today get tattoos without colors in a place where it shows Have you guys ever done the eye level test when you're wiping down your countertops? You might be surprised what you're missing, but I always try to do the eye level test and see what's left on the countertops after I'm done wiping things down and just try it. Next time you're cleaning, try it and you'll be surprised at how much you miss. If you have never been to my channel before, I'm Jamie. I am a wife to my high school sweetheart and we have three little girls. My oldest daughter, Avery, is five and then I have twins who are one. And so I guess that's a little bit about me and I just kind of 
like to balance all that life throws at me and try to maintain some sanity, you know, and try to try to still be myself as well and be a good wife and a mom. And I would love to have you subscribe. I have a lot of decluttering and organizing videos coming up here on my channel. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my parents' new house. So if you like these type of videos, make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on. But please introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from. I'm always so interested to know who's watching and where you live and what country you live in. Um, but I also want to get to know all of you guys, no matter if you're old or new. But let me know when your birthday is. My birthday is in March, so I'm a Pisces. But let me know when your birthday is, if you want to share it. So this is my little refrigerator cleaning hack that has changed how I clean my refrigerator. I love doing this. So all you have to do is obviously remove everything from your refrigerator and then you're going to take out the shelves and the drawers from your refrigerator. And then you'll take the shelves and put them in the bathtub with some super, super hot water in Dawn dish soap. And then you'll just let the shelves kind of soak while you do something else. And you don't even have to wipe them down after they're done soaking. There's no scrubbing. They come out sparkling clean. Wait till you see. It's truly amazing. And you can just let, let them sit for as long as you want. I usually don't let them sit out for too long because I have food that's sitting out that I need to get back in the refrigerator. So I will usually do one other task while they're soaking. But I mean, you can do it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, and they'll come out super clean but while they were soaking I was going to quickly wash our sheets and bedding in the master bedroom and then quickly very quickly declutter and organize the pantry So this wasn't going to be like a major pantry organization at all. I actually just did that not too long ago, but I will have that video linked in the description if you want to check it out. But I just wanted to go in, go through the food, get rid of anything that was old or expired, and just kind of reorganize things. And I find that I need to do this at least once a month. And since I'm in the pantry, we're talking food, right? What's a meal that you make almost every single week for your family? I feel like we always have those go-to meals that we make every single week. Ours is definitely tacos. We have tacos, some sort of chicken dish, and usually pizza every single week. We are creatures of habit in this household when it comes to our food, but let me know what's your go-to meal for your family or a meal that you make every single week.
I've really been trying to use up all of the food that we have in our refrigerator and pantry every single week. Obviously, there's always going to be groceries and staples that you need to go, but I'm kind of making a conscious effort to try to use up what we have before we buy new food. Stay tuned for some extreme bathroom decluttering and organizing. This is something that I haven't done in a while and our linen closets and even the cabinets in the bathrooms just had become a mess. They were messy and I honestly don't think I've wiped down the inside of them in months. So it was time and I just wanted to pull everything out from the closets and the cabinets and give it a really good declutter and deep clean. So I was going to wipe out the refrigerator door when I was wiping out the rest of the refrigerator, which by the way, I'm just using some vinegar and water to wipe everything. I like using vinegar in the refrigerator because it's something that you can consume and I just feel better about using it in the refrigerator. And it's also a very effective cleaner. But I was going to wipe this out when I was wiping out the rest of the refrigerator, but I didn't have enough room on the countertops to pull everything out. So I thought it would be easier to pull everything, to put everything back in the main part of the fridge and then wipe out the door. I think it was back in January because usually after the first of the year I get these bugs. I need to go around and organize my whole house. So I went in and organized the linen closet and then under the sink areas in the bathrooms. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, organizing and decluttering is not a once a year thing. Even though you organize one area in your home, it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way just because life happens. 
things will not stay organized. So I like to go in more than a couple times a year and come in and just kind of do a good decluttering and organizing session. So that's what I was doing today. And I hope that I get to do this at least once before the end of the year, but I guess we'll see. And I should also add, especially if you're living with other people, if I was completely living by myself alone, it probably would be a lot easier to keep things organized. But because I have a five-year-old who gets into cabinets and closets and hus a husband, it just doesn't always stay the way I would prefer it. I will say it does get a little overwhelming pulling everything out of these linen closets because there's not a lot of space in the bathroom. So to pull everything out, it just gets hard to start moving around. But I made it work and I am using some of my favorite baskets from the Dollar Tree because they are big and wide and white and bright, but they are hard to find. So if you find them at your Dollar Tree, make sure you swipe them up because I've only been able to find them at one Dollar Tree near me and I live, like I would say in a 45 minute radius, like I live probably around eight or maybe 10 Dollar Trees, but I can only find them at one. And if you want to see other videos where I organized the this bathroom and the other bathroom and the linen closets and under the sink, um, if you're seeing some of these organizational baskets and you want to know where they're from, I will have those videos linked down below as well because they have all of the info and where I got everything and it kind of more of like a dramatic declutter and organize. So if you guys watch my la watched my last video, I talked about some home updates or renovations that I would like to do in my kitchen. And the main thing is, is I don't like the dark cabinets in there. I would like them to be white. I. I don't really hate though the cabinets in the bathroom being dark. I think because I have light floors and then the countertops are white. So it kind of balances out the dark cabinets to where in the kitchen we have dark hardwood floors and we have more like warmer tone countertops. So it's just too dark for me. But in that video I was talking about 
these renovations that we want to make and how I wanted to go white with the cabinets. And I had a lot of people say that they don't like their white cabinets because they show everything. And honestly, I kind of feel like I have the same issue with the dark cabinets. They do show a lot. Um, obviously, it probably hides more than white. But what I've noticed, and it's probably because I have small children that specifically in the kitchen that those cabinets get banged up you know I mean just from everyday use um, and any little nick that goes into the cabinet if it takes off the finish then there's really nothing you can do you know what I mean to where I'd rather deal with like food and fingerprints and all that because I can wipe it off whereas um, with the dark there's like you know nothing I can do and it looks like there's something on the cabinet but when I go to wipe it and I look closer I realize that it's like a nick in the wood So I was kind of bouncing around and wiping down this area because Mike was with the kids and I got pulled away a couple times so I was a little distracted so I had to go back and do the drawers because I had started out I did under my sink and then I did the top drawer where my makeup is and then I got pulled away and I kind of forgot where I was and I started under Mike's side of the sink so then I remembered and I went back and got the other pull out drawers. Of drama and trying to be tough for the day time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready. So are you guys enjoying the videos that I've been doing lately? Um, I'll admit it's been a little bit difficult because when you're a YouTube creator, you have access to like YouTube analytics and it tells you which videos perform well on your channel and which videos don't perform as well. And anytime I throw up a video that's not cleaning or decluttering or organizing, it doesn't do well. And I'm not even talking like I don't get the views that I want. YouTube will specifically say your viewers are not very interested in this video. So, you know, I've been doing my Slay the Day videos, which is kind of like a vlog and a cleaning video, which I do enjoy and I'm going to continue to do those. But YouTube tells me every time I throw one up that my viewers are not as interested in those videos as other videos. If I try like anything that's not cleaning or organizing or decluttering, I get told that my viewers aren't interested. So let me know your thoughts on that. It's just, it's really hard right now being a YouTuber. Um with the algorithm because YouTube wants you to just make the same videos over and over and I just I mean I'm not just gonna throw out cleaning videos but at the same time it's really discouraging when I feel like people aren't watching the content that I throw out there and I put a lot of work into it so I just want to hear your thoughts what you guys think let me know and this is why a lot of people start second channels I don't know if that's the route I want to go but let me know your thoughts on this
And then it was finally time to do the girl's bathroom. And by this time, I was starting to get a little tired and I was ready to be done. But the good part was, is I started specifically with our bathroom because I knew that was like a bigger feat. I knew that I had more to do, more in the closet. And with the girls, there wasn't, they don't have a ton of things in their linen closet. So I knew it wouldn't take me as long and it would be easier to get like the harder bathroom done first. So got our bathroom out of the way and then I started on the girls. Do you do to me? You make it hard to breathe. Ooh, ooh. I'm tired of the people that talk about nothing, and I'm not wasting this moment. Even I know that letting you go would be crazy. Think you know I want you for myself. I don't need anybody else. Wanna leave this place? Me be in the dark where we can both hide. No one's gonna steal our time again. So I know a lot of you guys know I've been on a little decorating kick all over my house and I would like to redo, redecorate the girls' bathroom. I don't want to make it super girly, but I do want more of like, I want it to look like a girls' bathroom if that makes sense. So I need to start looking, but if you have any suggestions, like if you have girls and you decorated a bathroom for them, let me know like what did you use? Did you just use colors? Did you do like a specific theme? Let me know how you decorated their bathroom or you can send me links over on Instagram or you can send me a link in the comment section, but I'm not really sure what direction I want to go to. I don't want to make it super girly, but girly enough. So it's a bathroom that my girls like being in. So I picked these up from the Dollar Tree and if you guys are not new to my channel, you know I love these baskets. I obviously have them in my, my pantry. Um, they're just nice and big and cheap. So I'm going to organize some of the girls stuff over here. And then I honestly didn't have too much to take out of here. I organized this back in January and got rid of a lot of stuff. Um, and I had these baskets which I got from Target. I'll link these down below. But they're nice big baskets that I can put nice big baskets that I can put towels in, sheets and stuff, and it's just nice because with the handles you can just pull them out of the closet and grab what you need. So um yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of this stuff into these baskets and then put everything back before I move on. <laughs> So I'll admit, I am not an expert folder when it comes to folding, I guess anything, clothes or sheets or whatever. I'm, I, I, I guess I can be a perfectionist with certain things, but folding is not one of them. It really does not bother me to have things completely that aren't completely folded, neatly folded, because for me, it's more about being efficient and getting things done as quickly as possible. So to me, those sheets may not be perfectly folded in the basket or my clothes may not be perfectly folded in my drawers, but I just don't have the time right now to perfectly fold everything, you know, um, like every single day when I'm folding laundry. The only time I do care is when I can't see all of the clothes in my dresser or something like that, but it's not really a huge issue right now. But I did want to mention that I think we all have those things that are important to us, when it comes to keeping a house clean and organized, you know, we have those things. And so maybe folding things perfectly is important to you, but for me, it's not. But I just think it's important to know that like, it's okay to take shortcuts. Um, and, you know, like one shortcut for me may be a different shortcut for you, you know, um, but folding is my shortcut, but I think it's important to know. Oh, haven't changed a bit in my heart. Your words have never been wrong You are my own safety zone You're solid like a granite stone It came very sudden Ground. You wanted to hear that I got there all safe inside. 
I love when you guys come find me over on Instagram, so I will have my Instagram link down below, um, but it's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey, but I love connecting with you guys over there. So many of you guys will come over and you'll say hi to me, and it's honestly a great way I can connect. So if you guys want to come find me on Instagram, come over and find me. Okay, so after <laughs> cleaning out these drawers, I need to organize them. So I think I'm gonna plan another video where I go through and find things and containers to organize these areas a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that, so I guess stay tuned. And then also, something that has been on my to-do list is I would like to redecorate this bathroom. When I decorated this, when we moved in, or I had hoped that we would have more children and I had no idea if it would be a boy or a girl. I kept the bathroom a little gender neutral with like the whales and the yellow and the gray. But now that our family is complete and we have all of our girls, I want to redo this bathroom. And I don't want to make it super girly. I feel like that's not really my style, but I do want more of a feminine or girly vibe to it. So. That's another plan I have this summer. So if you've been liking my decorating videos or if it's something you guys would like to see, stay tuned. So after I was done with the bathroom, I put the freshly washed sheets and bedding on our bed and then I picked up the room and vacuumed. I don't necessarily hate folding laundry, but I hate when it piles up. This is three loads. One small load and two medium-sized loads of laundry. And so it's just so much more overwhelming when you have this much laundry. And this is why I try to not let it come to this point. But 
life happens and this is what we're dealing with. So I am going to do this. The kids are in bed. I want to relax tonight. So I am motivated. Let's get it done so I can be done with my successful day. So if you are here, you're still here, you have a little bit of work you still need to do, but we can do this. I promise, let's get it done. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope this video motivated you. You got this. Go get it done. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram. Make sure you comment below. Tell me when your birthday is or say hi. But I will see you guys next time. Bye. Sometimes lose sometimes. No need to apologize. It was the distance we had between us. It broke us down in disguise. No need to apologize. That I miss you now And I need to reminisce this Cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at our moments And they keep coming back to me I can't help that I miss you now